everyone certainly needs to spend a moment with his Lord. Maybe one moment, maybe more than one moment. Maybe one day, maybe a time it takes to comfort one's heart. One needs that retreat with his Lord. Needs a moment to be alone with his Lord, to lock out the whole world and to be in privacy with his Lord, to talk with him, to confess to him about his right and wrong, what he did, and to ask for forgiveness, to ask for guidance, to ask for ilm. To be with Allah Azza wa Jal is a need. The servant seeks that moment to be with his Lord maybe a few times in a lifetime. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the sole reference we go back to for everything we need. We are the created being and to Allah is our eventual destiny, no doubt. To be with Allah Azza wa Jal is a step in gratitude and recognition of the Lord's favors upon us. It's a necessity to receive divine grace. It's a necessity to receive Allah's forgiveness. It improves one's sanity and pleasure of being a servant of one's Lord. It's a necessary testimony of divine acceptance and a testament of safe passage in this life and in the next, inshallah. Every abd, every servant is poor in need of the sustenance of his Lord. Allah has no needs. The abd is a poor, he needs his Lord in the land, in the seas, in the skies, at night, in the day. And he must go towards him pleading to be accepted, pleading to be accepted. The pleading of one who is weak, who needs the strong one to protect him. The need of the one who is made by the one who made him. The need of the image to the one who created that image. The defective going to the perfect, the complete. The dependent solicit the provisions of the independent one who does not need no one. The independent one who needs no one. The thirsty seeks the fountains, the grace of divine favors, which never diminishes, which never diminishes, which never diminishes. One who has no means in his hand to do nothing, absolutely nothing, لا حول له ولا قوة, seeks the one who has all the power, al Ali al Qadir, who is the most supreme, who has power over all things. So he must humble himself before his Lord. He must humble himself before the Lord. And we do, we hope to remain humble before you, our Lord. Your favors cannot be reckoned. Your favors cannot be reckoned. When the Abd is in the retreat with his Lord, he has reached a most exalted supreme state of nearness to his Lord. His reality faces the divine reality, stands before the divine reality. He becomes occupied, occupied with the one who is perfect and complete, totally occupied in that presence. There's nothing to ask him of the dunya, or the Akhirah, but the moment to remain in that Divine Presence constantly, continually. And Allah puts him, places him wherever he wants to place him. Alim al ghaybi wa shahadati rahman al rahim He's the Lord of everything which is hidden and everything manifest. He's most merciful, most compassionate. Yusabbihu lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ard. Everything in the heavens and the, and, and the earth celebrates Allah's praises subhanahu wa ta'ala. لَهُ الْمُلْكُ وَلَهُ الْحَمْدُ The property, the kingdom is his and praises are due to him. وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ He has power over all things. وَالْمَلَائِكَةِ يُسَبِّحُونَ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّهِمْ وَيَسْتَغْفِرُونَ لِمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ And the malaika angels are celebrating Allah's praises by his grace and asking forgiveness for the people on this planet. Asking forgiveness for people on this planet. أَلَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Surely Allah is oft forgiving, most compassionate Lord. And He's telling us that the malaika are asking and He's telling us that He will forgive us. Just ask for it. هُوَ الَّذِي خَلَقَكُمْ He's the one who created you. فَمِنْكُمْ كَافِرٌ فَمِنْكُمْ كَافِرٌ Some of you are ungrateful and deny that reality. Don't want to look at that reality. هُوَ الَّذِي خَلَقَكُمْ He's the one who created you, who created us. Alhamdulillah. فَمِنْكُمْ كَافِرٌ Amongst you, those who deny that reality or ungrateful. وَمِنْكُمْ مُؤْمِنٌ And some of you are believers. They believe Allah created them. And we believe Allah created us. وَاللَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ بَصِيرٌ Allah sees what you're doing. Allah sees constantly, continually what you're doing. So the abd runs fast to the mihrab of his Lord. To the mihrab, to the niche of his Lord's presence. What would he say to his Lord? You didn't give me this, you didn't give me that. 
you gave another person you did not give to me? What would he say to him when his Lord said, min kulli ma He gave you everything you asked him already. He gave you already everything you asked him. If you were to reckon and count Allah's favors, you cannot reckon them. You cannot calculate how many they are. Not even an atom, not even one atom in the body of the human being, of the abd and his soul can be without need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not even for a blinking of an eye, not for, for even a second. The gifts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are constant and continuous. Allah has no needs, but we have recurring needs all the time. We have recurring needs all the time. Allah's favors are forever. Allah's gifts are forever, never cease. Your salat is a retreat with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your zikrullah azza wa jal is a retreat with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Reading the Quran al-Kareem is khalwa ma Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every moment if you think of him is a khalwa ma Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being alone in a retreat with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Young people, young men, listen carefully. Listen and understand what's being said. Listen and understand what's being said. If you have such a retreat to a cave of Hira, would you go there? You should. That's where Rasulullah went. If you have such a chance to go and have a retreat between you and, and to seek to, to talk alone with your Lord Azza wa Jal, you should do that if you can. But you don't need to go there to do it, you can do it here in your own home even, and you make a room corner of your house, you can sit and talk to your Lord as though you're retreat, in total retreat with Him. If you can control your mind, if you can control your thoughts, take ablution, make turaqah, and ask Allah to help you to stay with Him, you will enjoy something. If you've never tasted yet, try it.